everybody out there. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna do the uh, quick little review for this item and uh, the tutorial that I told you guys I would give you. Um, the noise you might be hearing in the background is my Xbox 360. That thing sounds like a vacuum, so y'all gotta pardon me. Um, like I said, um, I'm ready to use it, so I'm gonna do the tutorial, give it to you guys, and get it out the way. Um, the reason I brought this for Xbox, I'm actually gonna use this for something for PS4. So I'm gonna uh, do the quick little review and tell you guys what's going on with it. Charger kit um, for the Xbox One, I recommend you guys get this. This is a good item to have. Okay, so when you, when you open it up, it comes like this. It has this cord, it's pretty long. You really need this cord um, for your Xbox. I think the Xbox should have came with one of these, I don't know why, but uh, you really need this cord and it's important because um, it has a charger indicator. If you can see it, there's a little light there. When you're um, charging something, it lets you know if it's fully charged or not. And um, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I actually use this same cord to charge my PS4 wireless headset. So you can use this with uh, anything. You could charge your PS4 controller and vice versa. You use this on your PS4 or your Xbox One. So uh, that's a cool little neat thing. This is actually the best cord out of the two systems, by the way. If you have an Xbox One or a PS4, Xbox One beat PS4 on this. The cord is very long, it's extremely long, and it's very helpful and it's very useful. Much better than the PS4 cord. You got the charger itself, the battery, which it goes in the back of the controller like that. Make the connection, you see the two dots, of course, positive and negative are what they are. Plug them in just like that. Boom, ready to go. Of course, you take the original case in and you put it around it as if this battery's in it. Voila. Oh, I put it in the wrong way, my fault guys. You put it in just like so, make sure that the Xbox Word is facing correctly. Put it in like that. Put the original casing back on it, and voila, you're ready to go. And that light simply means when you see it flashing and it doesn't come on that your Xbox is not plugged in, which mine is not because I'm using my 360 at the moment. Uh, I recommend that you get the charger and uh, save yourself the money. So you guys know my review of the charger, it'll last you about a week, uh, easy. I mean, I haven't charged mine in about a little bit over a week, about a week and a half. And uh, I use my Xbox One a lot actually, cause I watch TV on it, I watch Netflix on it, I watch YouTube on it, I do a lot on it. So I can let you guys know this thing will last you at least a week, easy. If you rock all day, it'll last you like a week. Once it starts not doing that, then you probably are killing your battery. So I recommend you get it, it's worth it. 